Hi, it's me, Extravi, and I'll be showing you how to install Reshade into Roblox. So first of all, I recommend joining my Discord server for any updates and support. Any problems you come across, the solution is there. That will be linked in the description, and in an upcoming video, I'll be showing you how to make your own setup file and Reshade preset. So, for my hardware, like what I'm running, I'm using a GTX 1650, it's a laptop graphics card, so it's 20% lower than the desktop counterpart, but I run at like 70 to 60 frames per second on max graphics, ultra preset, uh, max graphics and Roblox. So, what I just showed there was RTGI, that's completely optional. You don't need to buy that, I'm not affiliated with them, nor do I make any money from that. That's optional to use the four presets that can use ray tracing. So, this is gonna pop up because I don't have a Microsoft Publisher license, so you're gonna have to go through Windows Smart Screen. A Publisher license costs roughly $400 a year to get rid of this, but it's safe because the setup file is open source, you can check the source code in the description. So like any other setup file, you're just gonna want to run through it. So once you're done this, you're going to want to open up any Roblox game of your choice. For this video, I'm going to be using Tower Defense Simulator, but it really doesn't matter at the end of the day, a Roblox game is a Roblox game. So once you're in game, you're going to want to change your graphics from automatic to manual. You can set this to graphics 10 or 8 for the best visuals, or you can go lower, just don't set it to graphics 9 or it's not going to work. So press F8 on your keyboard and skip the tutorial. As I said, four of these presets will not work as they use ray tracing, but this is optional, you don't need it, you can use all the other presets. Fake RTGI does work though. The other presets won't function properly. The other four. So I'm gonna be using light death, uh, aut no, I meant auto depths of field for this video. Because I like how that looks, it has more blur than the other ones, but if you choose light depths of field, you're going to get less blur. Alright, this is how you add RTGI into Roblox, it's pretty simple. So you're going to want to get the compute shader version of RTGI from the RTGI Discord server, then you're going to want to open up the Roblox file location. Look for reshade shaders. Now open up this file and drag it into the Roblox Reshade Shaders file location. Now you can close out of those two windows. Now open up any game again, it really doesn't matter. Now those four RTGI presets should work. And you get ray traced reflections and I guess light. It looks really nice, um, better than the default. So here's how to uninstall Reshade from Roblox. It's really easy. Just type in Add or Remove Programs into the Windows Start. Once you're here, you're gonna wanna search for Extravice Reshade Preset. And uninstall. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. Bye.